So I normally load my outdoor wood boiler every 12 hours and I put about 10 to 12 pieces of firewood in it. But it has a really big firebox so it can easily fit way more than I normally put in it. So I'm gonna fill this with as much wood as I can fit in it and see how long it burns and how long it heats my 1600 square foot house. And this will be an interesting test because right now it's four o'clock and it's about 25 degrees Fahrenheit and the temperatures are gonna keep dropping until the early morning. I think it's supposed to get into the single digits and then the next couple days are gonna be just as cold. I am starting this in a heating cycle, so you can hear the damper is open. So it is calling for heat. I have my water temperature set at 175 degrees Fahrenheit, and right now the water temperature is at 167. So that's why that damper's open, letting air into the fire so it can get up to my set temperature. So normally I just do one row of firewood right up front here by the door and I'll do like 10 or 12 pieces. Most of my firewoods about 20 to 24 inches long. That's just the length my splitter can split it. So I don't get much longer than that, but I'm going to stack two rows starting back there. I'll do a row and then up here I'll do my normal row. And I am going to leave a little bit of room on the top for air because the fire does need air for it to combust and burn. And I am trying to stay back a little bit from all the way in the back of the stove because if you can see this is like a baffle plate. So the smoke and the heat rolls up and underneath that and then it goes straight up into the chimney. So if I put my wood all the way back there, a lot of that, the heat's just going to go straight up and out. So just for a visual, about that much is how much I normally put in every 12 hours. I think there's like 12 pieces there and I would stack it all the way up close to the door and I'd hump it up a little bit more. So you can tell there's a ton more room and uh, I'm going to keep filling this thing. And there is a couple different species of wood I'm putting in right now. I'm putting in some oak that I'm trying not to put on the bottom because I know this is pretty wet still. So I'm mixing in some hard maple and a little bit of hickory. I'm trying to stay away from pine for this test. I do have some pine, but I'm gonna try to only put in red oak, maple, and hickory.
That is a lot of wood. I've never put anything close to that amount of wood in here. So it'll be interesting. Like I said, I did leave a little bit of room. There's probably 10, 12 inches between the top of my stack to the uh, bottom of the water jacket because the fire does need a little bit of room. So I feel like guys have two different opinions about completely filling their boiler. Um, some guys will say it's a boiler, it's got a big firebox, just pack it full and forget about it. And then other guys will say that it burns a little bit less efficient when you fill it this much. Um, I'm not sure exactly why, I think it's because it's just so full, it kinda, kinda stuffs itself out, doesn't really give it a chance to burn efficiently. I'm kind of thinking for my scenario, I might get a pretty efficient burn out of this because the guys that usually stuff these things full, they normally put really big rounds in there. So they'll throw like 12, 16, as big of a log they can fit in the door, you know, non-split, they'll chuck it in. And I never like doing that because you don't really get any heat out of it. It does burn for a long time, but it kind of just smolders. And you have to keep checking on it and stuffing split logs around it to keep it burning because a big round like that is still wet in the middle and it doesn't really create much heat. That's a relatively big argument too. A lot of guys will say the wetter the wood, the better. And while that probably lasts longer, it's not necessarily creating much heat. So it's gonna burn and smolder for a long time but it's not really gonna create heat because you're wasting all that energy burning off the moisture in the soaking wet log rather than that energy going towards heating the water. And it wouldn't really make sense because these boilers are damper controlled. So right now it's calling for heat and that damper's opened. Once the water reaches its set temperature, that damper closes and there's very little air getting to the firebox. So no matter how wet or dry your wood is, there's very little air getting to it and it's gonna smolder regardless. So if you put a bunch of wet wood in there, when that damper opens up, it's gonna take a lot longer for that fire to reignite because it's so full of moisture and start heating your water. If you put drier wood in there, when the damper opens and it's ready for a heat cycle, it takes a lot less time for that fire to get going again to heat your water and then therefore shut down. So. It's a difference of opinion, but I feel still, even with these classic boilers, the non-gasification, um, the drier you can get your wood, the better. But I know some guys are stuck in their ways. So it's just started to get going. I was a little worried I didn't have enough hot coals on the bottom, but it'll go. There's a lot of wood in there to burn. The amount of wood I have stacked in there, it's only about four feet to that baffle back there that I showed you. So I'm stacked about four foot deep, it's three foot wide, and then I'm only about two and a half foot tall there with the bed of ashes up into that uh, bottom of the water jacket. I'm probably like two and a half feet tall. All right, it's starting to go pretty good now. I'm gonna close the door, let it do its thing. Burns a little better without the wind ripping around, stirring up the smoke. So it's gotta climb back up to 175 before that damper closes. But yeah, I'm curious to see how long this goes. Uh, let me know in the comments your guys' guess. It is Sunday, uh, it's like 4.30 right now. My guess is I'm going to need to fill this Wednesday morning. So with the temperatures being what they're going to be for the next couple days, I'm guessing I'll have to refill this in three days. But I'm going to check on it every 12 hours like I normally fill it and see how it's doing. The next morning, 12 hours later, it's about 9, 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Looks like that's negative 8 Celsius. See how the boiler's doing. Water temps at 174. The 
dampers closed so it is not in a heating cycle. That burned down quite a bit. There is still a bunch left. Let me get a flashlight. Oh yeah, that whole back row is still up there. This front stuff burns quicker, burns first, because that's where the damper's right in front of the door there. So the heat gets to that first. But there's still a significant amount in there. So I'll check it again in 12 hours. All right, it's been 24 hours since I filled the boiler and it has been cold today. Water temps at 176, so the damper must have just shut off. All right, so it's burned down pretty good, but there's still a bit in there. I'm gonna rake it around a little bit and really see what's left. So this front row is pretty much just burnt down to coals, but the back row still has some pretty solid pieces left. So I think it'll help if I keep raking those forward. It is supposed to get even a little bit colder tonight, but uh, I will check on it again in the morning. So it's the next morning, Tuesday, around 8.30, and it's been about 15 hours since I last checked on the boiler. I'm hoping there's still something in there burning. Um, it's been pretty cold. The house is still warm, so it must be doing okay. But I've been trying to keep my shop stove going too. I do plan on hooking that boiler up to a heat exchanger in my shop at some point, but where the boiler's sitting now is not its permanent spot. So once I figure out where it's going for sure, I plan on running another line and putting a heat exchanger in here somewhere. So according to this, it's zero degrees outside and in here it's 50 degrees. There was a low of negative four and a high of zero in the past 48 hours. Water temps at 162 and the damper's open, so it's not a great sign. So I guess that's it. I'm gonna have to add some wood. There's no solid pieces left. Just a really nice bed of coals. And there's a lot of heat coming off those still. That's, I see the temperature's going up a little bit. That'll probably get me another couple hours um, just because of the heat coming off those coals. But I think I'm gonna call the test <laughs> uh, complete. I'm gonna have to add some wood. So I filled it back up with like a normal amount that I would do. I didn't do the two rows or pack it really completely full. Um, but it's nice to know that I can do that if I'm going away for a couple days or it would probably last three or four days depending on the temperatures. The cold weather really makes a difference. But I kind of like filling it up every 12 hours. It's nice to come out here and just check on everything, rake the coals around even if it doesn't need wood check the water level, the pump, and the, just make sure everything's burning right. So 
So I was doing some thinking and figuring inside here where it's warm. And for that test, I put in about four times the amount of wood that I've normally been putting in every 12 hours. And I got about 40 hours out of it. But with considering the temperatures, I think I burned about the same amount that I would have if I just kept filling it every 12 hours. It's kind of hard to tell with the temperatures because it really makes a big difference, especially because I got an old house and the windows are old. It's not insulated the greatest. Um, there's kind of a lot of air leaks. So especially the cold temperatures and if it's windy, that really makes a difference on how much wood you burn. So it's kind of hard to know for sure, but I think I would have burned about the same amount if I just kept filling it every 12 hours.